magic journal. Um, my my uh, topic. Topic is birds. Okay. My topic is fuzzy caterpillars. And our quote for the week is "Some people are worth melting for." By Olaf. Okay, Ashlyn, you go ahead. My name is Ashlyn, and uh, can I say my, my topic? Yeah. My topic is birds. Okay, I'll start out with your first page on birds. Mommy labeled this. This is a swan. This is a duck. Um, a crow and a peacock. Okay. And then what's that? This is a um, cardinal. Cardinal. And, and that. Um, this um, tells you that um, I learned a fact, and it's um, cats eat birds. Cats eat birds, okay. Yep. That's... And I traced it on the back. Okay. So what else? Mm -hmm. Did you write anything else in your journal? No. 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 Alright, tell me about your books. Um, this is Weird Birds and my favorite one in here is... I'll try. Here. There you go. Now you can turn it around. This bird is a what? Do you remember what that's called? No. A roseate spoonbill. Spoon and you, what do you know about that bird? And they they um, use their their beaks to catch prey. Uh huh. What are some prey? Fish. Fish. They catch some fish, don't they? Mm -hmm. A little scooper. They have a built-in scooper. Okay. What else? Um, this is a uh, this book. Fly with me. Okay. National Geographic Kids. And open it up to your page. And I like this page because it has a hummingbird on it. Oh, a hummingbird. My other favorite bird over here. I know it looks the same, but it's different. That's a Calliope and the, uh, hummingbird, and then this is a bee hummingbird. So those are different kinds of hummingbirds. Why do you like hummingbirds? Because they're colorful and they have long beaks. And they're tiny, right? Yeah. I saw a gray one up at Grand Mummy's before. Mm -hmm. Whenever we were on vacation. Okay. You ready? Are you done? You have anything else? What is your favorite bird? I mean, kind of bird. Okay. All right, Addison. My name is Addison, and my topic is fuzzy caterpillars. And oh, tell them first. Tell them that we take care of fuzzy caterpillars. And we take care of fuzzy caterpillars. Remember, they're stuck in spider webs. Out in our yard. Okay. And first I'm going to do this book. Okay. There are all types of questions about butterflies. And this question is why do some caterpillars have spiky hairs on their bodies? Well, why do they? A red animal caterpillar has sharp, spiny hairs all over its body. So does a common buckeye caterpillar. The spiky hairs or spines help these caterpillars stay safe. They make the larva look bigger and scarier than they really are. So some predators leave them alone. And that's the fact I want to tell you in this book. Cool. And then here's here's the pictures mm. of a spiky caterpillar. So this is a picture. And Monte hope. I wouldn't touch one because it could sting you. Oh. I got yeah. I got stung by one one on my shoe and one of what I was swinging, it like it got on my hair and then got on my 
thumb and sting me. Mm -hmm. How I got stinged on my shoe oh. was whenever I was just taking it off. Yeah. And it spiked me. It was just on your shoe, yeah. wasn't it? it was just holding it there. Two times. All right. Next is the weirder and cuter Luna Moth. Luna Moth. Those are neat. And what I'm going to show you today is, do these spots look like big eyes? Oh, they do look like big eyes. Mm-hmm. They do. That's right. These spots they look use, like big eyes. They use those eyes. Luna moths have four dark spots on their wings. Boo! They okay. scare away other humans such as birds. And so, the color of a luna moth's wings also keep it safe. Its green wings blend in with the leaves. Hmm. This helps the insect hide. I and mean. scare boo. I so camo camouflage and protection. Yep. That's yep. what the big eyes are for. I okay. already knew and that. here's the picture of a luna moth. Here's the picture. I already knew that. Very cool. I already knew that. Alright, Addison, show now, us your journal. And in, in my inside my journal this week is I know everybody likes to see what I do. Okay, don't look at this picture. Okay. Look so at what's the this picture? Alright, All right. explain to us the life and cycle. This is the egg. Okay. And guess what comes out of the egg? A spiky caterpillar. Okay. And then? And then the pupa. I mean the cocoon. Mm hmm And it either way. And then it, after it comes out of the cocoon, I mean, I mean that whenever it turns clear, it's about to come out. Mm hmm And you can see the wings through it. And then it turns into an adult and, and it goes over and over well, again. It's a cycle. Okay. And that's the life cycle. What's the next one? My next one is a piece of art made by me. Okay, what is that? It's a monarch caterpillar. Oh, you like monarch let me have my, huh? Let me have my space action. And then what? And then these are some um, some facts. So what are they? What Explain to us what the Third facts are. 3rd of October 2018. That's when I wrote them. Spots. Buckeye's name. That's where they, they got it from. So a buckeye's name gets its name from its spots. Okay, what else? Prey. It's um this prey is to a mouse. Or mice. Oh, so well mice. So mice eat, and eat monarchs? monarchs. Oh, and I didn't know that. It's really sad. And then the pupa is like a cocoon. It's like a cocoon. And then there's the picture. There's the cocoon, okay. And then then? We are looking at this picture. Okay. Luna moth. This is a Luna moth. What Luna? Okay. You learned what? Um, I learned what Luna moths look like. So you drew a picture. Yep. Very I drew cool. A picture of one. Very cool. They each has. They each have a spot on their way. Okay. And they have two antennas, which I didn't mean to do that one, but that's okay. Okay. And then, I think that is it. Do you have anything to add?
did you, you learn, learn this, week? this week? Tell, Tell us, us in, in the, the comments. comments.